Mars is a dusty place. It's what makes the red planet red, or at least reddish. And that reddish dust on Mars is very different than dust on Earth, including a strange property that seems downright alien on this episode of Mars Guy. It hasn't rained for billions of years on Mars, so that means it's had a long time to accumulate dust, the less than 5 micrometer bits of powdered rock. Dust is always being lifted into the atmosphere somewhere on Mars, but it's also falling to the surface somewhere else. And it's that falling dust that can accumulate on Mars landers and rovers. If they're solar powered, they can be killed by too much dust, like recently with the InSight lander. See episode 91. Perseverance is not solar powered. It generates electricity from the steady supply of heat given off by the radioactive decay of nearly 5 kilograms of plutonium dioxide hanging out in back. Here's Mars Guy for scale. But it does have parts that need to be kept clean, and that's where magnets come in. The idea to send magnets on spacecraft goes all the way back to the Lunar Surveyor Program in the 1960s, which showed that the Moon has magnetic particles in its regolith. In the 1970s, the two Viking landers carried magnets to the surface of Mars, including ones to test if the dust there is magnetic. It is. Subsequent missions carried them as well, showing that little ring-shaped magnets could repel dust across a small circular area. Here's what that looks like using a ring magnet and a magnetic iron oxide mineral, appropriately named magnetite. It can occur at the few percent level in basaltic lava rocks, which are common on the Moon and Mars. Ring magnets on Mars have shown that every particle of dust falling from the sky is magnetic, which is surprising given that Martian dust is not pure magnetite. Hematite gives it the reddish color, and there's also bits of silicates and salts in it, none of which are magnetic. So somehow all these bits get stuck together along with magnetite to make Martian dust particles magnetic. You've probably seen ads for some kind of duster that cleans like a magnet. But on Mars, you could use a real one to pick up dust or repel it. Perseverance went in big on repelling dust on various parts of the scientific payload like no mission had done before. The color calibration target for the MassCam Z camera uses a ring magnet under each of its eight color chips, which keeps a small portion free of dust. The SuperCam instrument also uses ring magnets for its color chips. And the SkyCam of the Meta Weather Station uses them to keep the eight sapphire windows of its photodiodes clean. One of its magnets captured two coarse sand particles, which are probably too big to be individual pieces of magnetite, They were there from the beginning of the mission, deposited from the cloud of sand and dust kicked up by the descent engines. They may be bits of basaltic sand with magnetite in them. Whatever they are, we do know that they're magnetic enough to hang on through nearly two years of off-road driving and swirling dust devils. Those swirling dust devils and gusts of wind and Jezero Crater have helped keep Perseverance relatively clean especially compared to InSight, which didn't have that benefit. But if you want an extra bit of cleaning on Mars, use a real dust magnet. 